So if you're new to the game, you may wonder, what's the coolest place you can visit in Star Citizen currently? And for me, it's always Grimhax. Okay, now I currently landed at Grimhax, the landing pad. And it's an asteroid base in the orbit of Yela, which is a moon on Crusader, around Crusader. So now that we find this place, this is all of Stanton, the current star system. See, it says Crusader. That's the gas giant, we can double click. And Yela is a moon of, of Crusader. Double click on that. You see it's over here. It's in a debris field around Yela. Okay, so the first cool thing is you can just land on landing pad without having to go into hangar if you don't want to. So it's, let me take you on a tour on what you can do in this place. Now what you can see from the outside when you land, you can go directly into the medical area. If you need to buy medical tools, if you need to heal yourself, or if you need to uh, set your spawn point to this place using the insurance terminals. Okay, so you can you can enter directly the medical area without having to go through the main area of the of the Grimax uh, first. Okay, once you get to the medical area, there's three things you can do. You can uh, do a patient check-in. If you use that, the game will assign you a room on a specific floor. Then you can lay down in the bed and you get yourself healed. You use that elevator to get to that. And the second thing you can do is go to the pharmacy shop, where you can just buy medical items. Or you can set your spawn point to the station, which is over here at the insurance terminal. So you can walk up to it, press regeneration. And my current residence is the Orison, um, Orison landing zone. And if I click on this button, it will transfer it to Grimhax. Okay, so that's the medical area. This is the ship um, request console, like on a landing zone. And to get to the main shopping area, you have to go find the two central elevator shafts. Call elevator. Okay, now the layout is slightly confusing. How I think it adds to the um, to the experience of the place, not knowing at the beginning where you have to go. Okay, so as you exit the elevator, if you want to go to the bar to get a drink, you take the next doorway right next to the elevators. This way you can get to the bar and get a drink. Okay, let's go back here. Now the next thing in reach that you can go to is the administrative office. That's where you sell um, cargo items that are not specific um, usable items. Like, for example, if you have a box of copper, you can sell it here. See here it says Admin Hex. You can see it from the outside. See the Hex logo that leads you to the admin office. You can use these consoles. And here's a delivery box drop-off right outside of it. Now the next doorway is if you need to buy hacking tools. You can you can tell by this white arrow. And it's intentionally a nondescript place. So it's it's supposed to be some a more secretive place. See here, you can enter it. And you can buy different hacking chips that you can use for various situations in the game. Then there's a clothing shop where you can go. You can see here the three red arrows. You can buy clothing. Oh, that's just street clothing. That's not space-worthy clothing. So there's no space helmets or suits in the place. You can also say you want to buy guns or ship components or spacesuits. I have to go up here. Now if you're looking for uh, guns and armor, you can just go up here and take this doorway. So if you go up from this staircase or from the other, you take this doorway. So you enter this large hall, which currently doesn't have much purpose. And then you see this door, it says open, and that's your weapon and armor shop. You got the console, and here you can buy different armor pieces, weapons, and some food items. Now this larger room doesn't have much purpose, however it has one really cool specific purpose. Let me show you. You have a really nice view on the outside. And this is one of the few places in the, in the game where you currently can buy beer. And yes, you can actually get drunk of it. And in case you wonder, you have to drink 23 de beers in in succession to get blackout drunk, so the character actually falls over and passes out. 
And you can get some sausages up here. I think it's hot dogs, is it? Yeah. And there's one final shop that you can find, which is, I think, the most hidden shop in this place, which is really hard to find. So you have to go back up to this um, staircase area. And notice most of these hallways are just the halves of players spawning. Well, the central one over here with the hex logo is a shop. You see again, three arrows. Go inside. And this is a dumpers depot. This is a component shop that combines ship weapons and ship components. So it's one of the most useful shops in the game if you need to buy things for a ship. And here's the console. And the really cool thing is that this is one of the most ideal places in the game, at least for the Crusader area, if you loot guns and components from other ships and you want to sell them quickly. There are other hallways you can take that can lead you to very interesting locations on the station. However, I'll leave that for you to discover.